Uh, uh, mate, a gram of dark chocolate. Don't look at that! The body weight was down. Good morning, good evening, good night. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Welcome to Day in the Life. I mean, it's a little bit of a different day in the life. We're in Cardiff. Um, just doing a little in-person check-in with Josh. It's mad to think that Josh is on stage on Sunday. So we're in Cardiff. Josh has come around post-cardio, had a look at him, giving him pretty much the, the game plan for today. Um, you're going to be seeing him tomorrow, which is going to be quite cool. And I'm literally seeing him every day now. Um, I do so believe until he actually competes because I'm going the extra mile for Josh as a coach. Just going the extra mile. But today, in this video, we're going to be going through a day in the life of me. Um, so it will be literally a breakdown of me being in coach mode. Um, there's not really that much to, like, I've been asked a fair few times, what do you use your day sort of like? And it's like, I literally just sit on a laptop, go for a walk. I usually do cardio in the morning, but there's no cardio availability here because we're in Airbnb. So I'll probably do that, maybe post-workouts after legs, we'll see how my legs feel. Um, but either way, at this point of the day, it's 8.37 with Josh for a bit, I'm going to be cracking on with a bit of work. We'll go through my meals, so it'll be a full day of eating, 800 carb, so that'll be the title, like 800 carb, gaining phase, like, gaining phase whatever, gaining phase diet, so that'll be a case, and then we'll go through a little bit of a lower session, and just in general, like, what I get up to on a daily basis, spoiler alert, it's really not a lot other than just sitting at a laptop and training and eating, but that's the life of a coach slash somewhat bodybuilder, I guess. Plan for, uh, of action for Josh today is an extra 250 gram of carb on top of his baseline train day diet. Um, we pretty much just had a 50 gram of carb in meal one, two, three, four, five. Uh, pulled down dietary protein slightly um, just to minimize just general food volume and likewise potential digestive stress that occurs just from carbs being escalated up. And then it was his last day of cardio. So how does that feel? Last day of cardio prior to the first show? Weird. Weird. Yeah. It's gonna be weird tomorrow. Wake up and be like, oh, it's up chat. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Like when you don't do cardio, you it's know. It's the nicest thing, though. Yeah. Like it's. It wasn't you, you know, when we pulled it out. It felt bad. It felt wrong. Yeah. And then now I'm like, yeah. It's, yeah. That's when you bat it. <laughs> that's when you bat it. Like in in my head, I was like, I might go to Reese's first and see if we can pull out cardio and have some fun. <laughs> but no, last bit. So. Is that yeah. why you wanted to come at seven. So yeah, I want to go at five. Josh was like, please, no, Reese, please. No, I don't want to do it. I did my cardio at like half six, so yeah. it wouldn't be that. That's why he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come at seven. Yeah, I'll come at seven. No, no, no. no. <laughs> come, come a bit later, bro. Come a bit later. So, yeah, all good. That'll be the intro. Um, enjoy. First meal guys, um, the large majority of like, it's currently half hour. I've already seen Josh obviously, that would have been the last clip. But the large majority of my mornings recently, I've got eight clients on stage this weekend. So it's pretty much a case where I've only actually done two direct check-ins. Um, all I've been doing is actually speaking to my prep clients. Like peak weeks and stuff like that, you need to be making tweaks or changes on a daily basis based off how they're looking. So like it is literally a case of speaking to the same like select small group of people um, for a long period of time. But it's all good. So everyone's got their plans for today when it comes to the people on stage for, for this weekend, which is good. Um, first meal, uh, usually I go for a walk prior to my first meal, but it is, it's is—it's been raining the whole morning. So we're gonna go for a walk probably after the meal slash when Sanai's like ready, she's got a call in a bit. Uh, but first meal, basically it's 125 grams of cream of rice, and it's two blocks of dark chocolate, and then it's 70 grams of whey, and it's also 200 grams of usually frozen fruit, raspberries and blueberries, but there was no raspberries or blueberries, so it is mixed fruit. Uh, so yeah, first meal, this is a training day, and what I'll do is I'll put up my training day kind of macro totals. Um, the food is at the point now where it's like, it's not it's not stupidly high, but because I've had it higher, but it's it's a good amount. Um, so we've opted for a few easier food choices. Uh, Crumpet protocol, Crumpet and Jam protocol has been deployed. Uh, that's pretty much what we've been uh, we've been doing. Because I came back, bumped up food after my holiday, and pretty much after that holiday, it was a case where I went from like 725 carb to all the way to 800. Cause my body weight was actually dropping on 725. Um, but I opted for a few easier food choices. So it actually feels like I'm eating less now because the food choices are a little bit easier. So yeah, first meal. Um, like I said, put the macros on the screen, and then the next time it'll probably be maybe actually cracking on with actually my, my actual check in work when it comes to my Wednesday check in clients, uh, which would be good. <laughs> but to be fair, like every day at this point, it's really busy, which is wicked, it just means I have to be efficient. So, yeah, all good. I'll get the meal in now. 
Mas Aldi Yang kalau Aldi apa pun dia Ya, open terus, nanti dia Bam, Hydroflow, Conte Sports, Reese Fit 10. I'm actually going to be showing you some supplements throughout the video. This isn't intentional because I actually bring this everywhere. I've been using a hydration supplement for oh, since my prep and I was always a bit of a hater against hydration supplements. I thought it was a bit of a waste of money. And so I used them and noticed the benefits. Um, what are the benefits, you ask? Hydration. It's not just a case of how much fluid you drink. It's actually going to be a lot of a, of a mix. So with Hydroflow, we have Vitamin C, vitamin B5, vitamin B1, vitamin B7, and then other things that I can't pronounce. It's very good. That's a fantastic. And it tastes book. lovely. And it does taste lovely. It does taste really good. So upon wake, I always make sure prior to my session, I've ticked off two of these. One of them will be Hydroflow, um, and then one will just be water. So four liters of water prior to me training. And then I also have a white monster. I only really have a white monster and then a Starbucks. Are we going to Starbucks today? Oh, hell yeah. Are we having a Starbucks pre-session? Do you fancy a Starbucks pre-session, Sam? Okay, we're having a Starbucks pre-session. So caffeine. I've been the kind of guy to have a stupid amount of caffeine, like pre's and all that sort of stuff. In a prep, like when energy levels get lower, I do usually like a, a pre-workout, but when not, just white monster. And then if Sanaya wants to go to a Starbucks, I'll tag along and then just get her order and have the same coffee every single time. Yeah, white monster, a bit of caffeine, hydroflow for hydration, what's not to love? What's your favorite flavor, berry or cherry? Both. Uh, that's together. Actually, yeah, that's a slushy, yeah. oh, like yeah. into a slushy. Guys, Berry, Hydroflow, Cherry Hydroflow, like three quarters of a scoop of each. Oh, it's really good. And then if you get ice, put it in a blender, it's like the ice slushy, isn't it? Prep pack. Prep pack. <laughs> Yes guys, so uh, pre-workout meal, um, almost well, it's been created. Um, work for the morning, it's currently 1 p.m. Uh, we've sat for the last, Josh, Sam, how long's it been? Like Josh, half hour, 20 minutes of Sanaya trying to do an announcement, which has been like, it was good. She got there in the end, didn't you Sanaya? She got there in the end. Um, so yeah, work block for the morning, like pretty much ticked off. Um, Wednesday is always a pretty busy day. So it was like, I think 13, 14 check-ins and like, like I said, seven, eight peak weeks um, and then a fair few WhatsApps. But most of it's been boxed off, which is good. Um, today is legs. Um, so we're gonna get some, some footage. Uh, we're gonna come back. Pre-meal is, I just literally missed the actual bowl. I just fingered my chicken. Pre-meal is uh, 150 grams of cooked chicken. So like 46 grams of protein from chicken, um, a pack of jasmine tilde rice, that's like 90 carb through rice. We then have four crumpets and then we have, it's 12 and a half grams of jam on each one, um, which is a bit particular, but it's 12 and a half grams of jam. And I also have one block of dark chocolate just for a fat sauce to slow down the meal slightly when it comes to digestion. Um, this has been recently put in, my last video I actually did, pre-workout nutrition, um, a real where I had cream of rice and two square bars, but I've swapped in for rice and chicken because it's a little bit less volume. And then likewise, the crumpets and jam, really easy. Um, when my food gets higher, I like to prioritize the, the kind of workout window, so pre and post. So therefore, these will be probably escalated up in carbohydrate load as food demands get higher. Um, and that will kind of see us nicely into the session. For the session itself, the intro workout will go through that when it comes to the actual, uh, what I'm sipping on while we're training. So that'll be in the gym. But away from that, I'll get this meal in. We are then gonna literally head off to Starbucks, grab a coffee. Uh, Sam's having a decaf because he's having a rain that has like 300 milligrams of caffeine. And Sam's also gonna be jumping in. So it's a leg day. Sanaya's gonna be jumping in for most of it. I think she's got a bit more gluten ham um, dominant, but we'll probably train a bit. And then Josh, what are you on today, mate? Cool. So Josh's pool session. This is his last normal like yeah. session prior to prior to stage, which is mad to say. So yeah, pool That's today. Crazy. Yeah, pool today. Yeah. When you think about it, that, this is yeah. his last normal session. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And then he's got a upper body pump session on Friday, just pretty much telling where the, the blood to go. So yeah, we'll see how Josh is looking post workout. And uh, go, go. Guys, so we are at UFIT in Cardiff. Yesterday was at Planet Fitness. Uh, this is the other, the Mecca in uh, in Cardiff. I don't know if this is the Mecca or if Planet Fitness is, but it's the hashtag factory apparently. Um, that's what Josh has said. So we're in for the lower today, uh, me, Sanaya and Sam. Just gonna have a bit of fun. Uh, I don't think I'm really gonna talk too much, so it will just be a case where Sam might film a few sets or a few bits and bobs. I'll talk about my intro, because 
guess that's got some calories and obviously what I consume. But otherwise, it's just your standard sort of lower session. So me and Sam have had a bit of a rough idea. We're gonna start off with calves and abs, uh, just a super set, get some blood flow to them. We're then gonna move into a ham curl, uh, probably two sets here. We're then gonna go into our compound work. So they have the Cybex hack and they also have the Cybex pivot leg press. Me and Sam can go to war on that. He'll probably beat me on the hack and then I'll destroy him on the, uh, on, on, on the pivot leg press, um, which to be fair, I should, but on the hack, I'll get humiliated. So I'm just gonna say, oh, my knee, my knee, I need to band it. And that's what my excuse is gonna be. Um, and then we're gonna basically do a leg extension with an intensifier. And then I think we're gonna do something to like finish off with, so it's a bit of fun. So like a dumbbell walking lunge or some intensifier, something that we can just have a bit of fun with and just see how much we can systemically trash ourselves. This is my, the last session for me, prior to four days worth of rest as a minimum, which is definitely needed. Uh, but at the same time, part of it, still gotta turn up and kind of train as hard as you should do. So yeah, big session today, gonna be good. Like I said, Sam will get a little bit. The next time I speak, we'll be just going through my intro. And then other than that, it'll just be a case of just taking you through the rest of the day. So yeah, all good. Before, before we start this session, I just wanna say that I am natural. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting I'm this. an extremely busy videographer, so I don't get to train that much, so... He's fallen off for the last two weeks. <laughs> he hasn't trained. <laughs> I just want to point that out. shat himself and then puked himself. No, it was puke and then shit. He put his head down the toilet. No, I managed to flush. It's not good, guys. Volatile diarrhea. And projectile vomit. Not the best. If you don't train like that, or end up like that on the leg day, you're not training hard enough. Yeah. Need an inspirational quote. If this doesn't happen to you on leg day, you're not training hard enough, pussy. Get back into the gym and give me 10 more reps. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. lovely. Yeah. 
Oh, that range was lovely. <laughs> yeah, stupidly deep. It felt well nice though. It's like. I'll put them away in between our leg extensions. Huh? I'll put those three away when we're doing the leg extension. Let's see where Josh is. Post-workout, um, I actually didn't get a time in the gym to speak about my intra workout, like nutrition. So this isn't my intra, unfortunately, but this is my intra bowl. So my intra workout um, is 20 grams of highly branched psychodextrin, carb drive, Conte Sports, and then also one scoop of essential gains from Conte Sports or an EEA. I'm a big fan, I always have been, um, of mixing pretty much an EEA and then likewise uh, pretty much a, like a carb source. If we think about what EA is, it's going to provide us pretty much a synthesis spike of MPS, a muscle protein synthesis. And therefore, if we also think about what carb drives or carb powder does, it helps reshuttle. And if anything, we're depleting glycogen. So it helps that refueling process. So mixing them within synergy means you can train harder for longer because you're going to have more duration through, let's say, carb and likewise just available energy. And then also you're going to get an MPS spike, which is an essential part of growth. So in my opinion, it means literally, like I said, you can train harder in that session, you can train harder for longer. Now, when it comes to post-workout nutrition, check out the Instagram, I'm gonna do a reel. However, my current post-workout is 225 grams of cream of rice, and then five caramel rice cakes that we're gonna try for the start of the reel. Fit as many as I can in one mouth, it's gonna be horrendous. But basically that, and then also, believe it or not, I actually have a protein sauce, I forgot about the protein. 70 grams of whey, easy. The real will explain more, but the, the main rationale for a meal post-workout, GLUT4, is going to be heightened. So this is basically our transmitter and uptake of carbohydrates. So this is higher post or it's higher after we trained. So therefore, I have the highest degree of carbohydrates and this is my highest volume of carbohydrate meal throughout the day. Um, this is something that I really look to leverage as my food gets higher. So GLUT4 is higher. My ability to utilize food is higher. So throwing in, I don't know if there's jam around. Here we go. Throwing in something like bagels, jam, things that are really easy to get a good amount of carbon without actually too much volume, especially when food gets high, it's just easy to get in. And then I also keep fats to an absolute minimum. There are no fats, direct fats in this meal. Fats slow down digestion. So ideally post-workout, we want to be pretty much starting that refueling process as quick as possible. Mix that in with glut for being heightened, all that science geeky shit that most people don't really need to worry about. But basically, it results in us getting in a good amount of carbs, helping that refueling process and helping recovery. So I'm gonna get this meal in. Um, the next two meals will be shown from yesterday because as mentioned, we're, we're going out, we're doing an escape room and then we're also gonna check out what Cardiff has to offer when it comes to off-plan food, which will be sound. This might be the last clip or it might be the last clip of me speaking, we'll see, we'll see. But hopefully at this point, everyone's enjoyed the leg session. I will say we didn't actually give a bit of a review. Brutal, absolutely brutal. We did, a t I did a 25 repper, Sam bottled it. So we did one set, Sam did one set of the hack, I did two. Um, I beat him, thank God. Well done for, for being enhanced, beating a natty who's younger than me. Wow, so impressive. Um, so yeah, I did two sets on the hack, uh, a 12 repper and then a 25 repper. After that, threw up, also. <laughs> yeah, the Sanaya said it. I think she mentioned it on the video as well. It wasn't great. Um, and then pretty much after that, we did two sets on the leg press, which was brutal, like stupid range of motion, but felt really good. And then we did a drop set on the 45 degree hyper and then like the most brutal leg extension concoction. Basically, Sanaya, like how many drop sets was it? I don't know, I just kept dropping it. Yeah, like I, get, I tell Sanaya, just make it hard. And it was honestly like five. five to six drops, forced like eccentric, like loaded with eccentrics, partials, then into a weighted stretch. It was probably like five minutes of just leg extensions. So Sam loved it. Sam loved it. Sanaya loved it the most, she didn't even do it. So yeah, absolutely finished. So. Deload time now, which is fantastic. So yeah, getting in this meal, and then otherwise we should be all good. Got a little bit of work to, to crack on with, about an hour's worth of work, which is sound. I can be back into coach mode. So yeah, like literally this is pretty much my day, like training, eating, like doing some steps, working, 
yeah, sound, so enjoyable. It actually is, I do love what I do, believe it or not, but from a camera standpoint, it's probably just like, oh, hopefully. So, yeah, we're good. <laughs>
have the fruit and then place the rest on the oats. I feel like oats is the only meal that I actually have like some care for. Everything else I'm just like, how it is. So that, I'm guessing is the end of the video, which is funny because we haven't even shot the actual day of the life video because it's the day before. So these are the last two meals. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll probably do more of these when, let's say, like I know next time I'm booked in with Sam, it's gonna be for the PCA weekend. So we might do one, like show day, day in the life of a, like an actual coach in the sense of like clients on stage. But we'll see what that weekend entails. So yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoyed. Any questions or anything like that, as always, leave them below or drop me a message on Instagram. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Everybody. I've had a car crash. Dense. Wheel. On the piss. Really not good. Wrong lane on a roundabout. Car. We were in the right lane. Wrong lane. Guy tried to turn into us. Smash bang wallop. Oh no. Car crash. I'm practicing that because I'm going to have to say that in court because they were absolute bellends. Um, they didn't want to admit it was their fault and they've come into me. So this is basically, we've had a car crash on the, on the way home from Cardiff, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm trying to smile, I'm trying to make a good scene out of this. In reality, deep inside, I'm incredibly depressed. However, I'm gonna drown my sorrows with some like hydroflow. And then additionally, I've said I'm gonna, my next car, I'm getting a Porsche 911 Turbo S. So I think that's what I'm gonna tell myself to have a bit of copium in my brain. I'm gonna get a Porsche now, because this is written off. This is definitely written off. Wheel on the piss. Left side of the car, dented to fuck. And the worst thing is, the people that came into us, they had a horrendous car and they were adamant. They basically were like, we indicated, but they were in the wrong lane. Painful, painful. First ever car crash at 24 years of age. Not good, not good. I feel physically sick, but we're still here. So we've got to take the positives. <laughs> Sam's fine, I'm fine, Sanaya's fine. Not ideal, but it's only a car. <laughs> so it's only a car. <laughs> I can't tell you. It's actually pretty sad. Yeah, literally, I keep going through waves of emotion. Of, I'm okay. Oh, my, my phone is ringing. Hopefully, this is the people who are coming to get me. It might be. Give me a sec. Hello?